Another concept that we'll be using here uh, uh, while uh, doing the national income calculation is the concept of uh, uh, final goods and uh, intermediate goods. Final goods are uh, uh, those goods which are in the hand of the consumer. That means that has uh, gone to a level where it is at end stage of its production. And then um, it is where that person is actually consuming it and it's the end user of that in a way we can say. I would imagine uh, this can be uh, uh, sort of uh, tangible and intangible both, like tangible, say for example if I have got this pen in my hand, this is a tangible thing, uh, a fridge, uh, a, a cloth, uh, a shirt, uh, in the hand of uh, the person who is using it, that can be a final good. You have to understand that because uh, when we do accounting, there are a lot of things which are happening in between and it's not finally produced, finally gone in the hands of consumer. So we would not account for them. So that's why you have to see this tangible. It can be intangible also. Like for example, uh, I buy the services of entertainment. If I watch a movie, and the end consumer of it, and that is not uh, tangible. The health that you have got, education that you have got, these are like uh, uh, those final goods which are in the hands of the people, or the, the services which are in the hands of the people, and that is the final user of it, and they are not used for further production. So consumer is basically the ultimate and final beneficiary of that. Now from this you must have got already the idea of intermediate goods. Intermediate goods are, are, are those goods which are not yet in the hand of the final consumer. That means it is still being moved through uh, the production process. One has to be carefully understanding this because there could be an intermediate good for some. It same good can become a final product for somebody else. Let's say for example, uh, somebody who has bought uh, cotton and then has made a thread out of it and thread is uh, uh, basically to be sold to somebody who will make textile out of it. So this thread and textile are both intermediate good till it goes to a uh, shirt maker who has made a shirt out of it and shirt is still not a final uh, 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 product if you have got it has to be dyed and done some more work on that but then if it becomes a final output that lands in the hand of the consumer it becomes a final uh, or, or final good for that matter i suppose one has to understand the goods which are used for further production the goods which are still used as a raw material they can be called as intermediate goods if you understand this concept i would also like you to understand that if you Counting about the national total production that we have got and if you're counting thread also, you're counting textile also, you're counting shirt also, the same thing gets counted twice. So that has to be avoided. So we end up going, uh, we end up using the final goods world. So this final goods should be very clear to you and it's not the good per se. It is actually the position of a particular good given in, a, in, in the hands of the people. Let's say for example, uh, if you buy the thread for uh, doing your own stitching at home, that becomes a final product for, because it hands, uh, lands in the hands of the consumer. So consumer goods, if it is uh, there, it becomes a final good. But then if it is still moving through those uh, firms and is still being processed for further production and providing services, they will be called as intermediate goods. I hope these two simple concepts are clear.